What is up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 23, uh, 2023, sorry. Top's finest flashback baseball, six boxer case. PYT number one, guys. All card chip, guys. You're looking for at least one refractor per parallel or one refractor parallel per box, guys. But there are some uh, rare chances of getting some nice colors and also autographs for specific teams. So really fun stuff here, as always, guys. They started this a few years ago. And uh, I think we're uh, we're getting the 1996 finest set with this, so pretty nice. And then Joe did a lot of the heavy lifting in this, and also grabbed the White Sox last ball mojo. So thank you, man, for getting that across the finish line for us. Let's open this up, and rip. So I believe 20 pack boxes, six box case. I'm gonna rip like three boxes and then go through them and then rip the next three after. Last box here and then we'll go through the first three.
All right. First three. Let's see we go. All right, we got a Ken Griffey Jr. We got a Cunha. Michael Harris. Hunter Green. And there's a refractor there of Carlos Rodon. Phenoms. And that's going to go to the Yankees and Tristan. Tristan Casas. Fulby. Bobby Witt. Shohei. There's an Adley rookie. Vladdy. Uh, like I said guys most of these boxes may seem very like what what the hell are we chasing here but the refractors actually sell pretty decent especially when it first comes out too I think this one has been out for just a little bit though but uh, like I said some boxes will have numbered cards some boxes will have an autograph if I remember correctly when I did a case break of this on Fanatic slide we might have only hit one auto maybe two in the whole case so the autographs are really rare, but when you do hit one, they're really good players, though. But yeah, you're looking really for the refractors and colors. And, you know, I'm just leaving up all the bigger rookies and whatnot, so. Chasing the board here. On top of the Rodon refractor. But all card ships, so you'll get every single thing. All right, here we go. Buxton. And there you go, Eloy Jimenez. Sterling Fidest refractor there. And that is uh, Last Bomb Mojo going to Joe. That's pretty sweet too, actually. Jalen Mears. Um, Bryce Harper. Ty Cobb. Nice Jordan Walker like that. St. Louis and a Chad. We got a Ryan Mountcastle.
I have no idea what that is, Logan. But everybody will claim that. So they get people through the door. Buster. Forty-seven out of a hundred, Mike Trout autograph. Joe got the Angels, and you're gonna go to sleep good tonight, man. You are gonna go to sleep good tonight. There you go. Now, that might only be the only autograph you're gonna see in this case, but. Colors, maybe. That's what we're hoping for. And then there's a refractor, DL Hall. Uh, Orioles also going to Joe. I don't know, man. For Mexican food here in California, and especially in Southern California, um, there's chains, but uh, everybody has their own family-owned type of business slash taco stand, taco truck. Like, you know, it's, it's not like other states where, like, you know, they try to bring Mexican food to the state because it's a very popular type of food, but, you know... It's not like you see them everywhere. So it's like when you visit all the states that border Mexico especially. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're going to find some really good Mexican food. But I don't know about when it comes to other states. And then, yeah, in LA, I mean, you can go to Chinatown, Koreatown, all those different places. And they'll have all their own authentic food restaurants mm. yeah because you're using liquid cheese if you're using like actual grated cheese for nachos, then I would say that's a little bit more authentic. But most places use liquid nacho cheese, so it's not really the same. Alright guys, officially two guys. You guys have about an hour.
to uh, get any orders in, guys. You guys have an hour. Deadline is at 10.30, guys. It's officially 9.33, so less than an hour. So like I said, if you guys want to do any breaks tonight or want to grab any spots in any breaks, just to increase your chances of winning some money back, grab those spots. Like I said, if you wanted to try to do a couple close breaks, like I said, I've been pushing that immaculate because it has been sitting there for the last three, four days. We are in zero number mode right now, and like I said, they're not as pricey. So I feel like good chances of getting some hits on some really big teams. Also, that quick hit mixer is down to four. Two big teams at 200, but two other teams at 50. Which, again, that will increase your chances of winning some money in the its own promo. But... Uh, like I said, you also have a chance to win some extra money with this promo we have today. Um, I did try the Cherry Berry Lemonade at at uh, Chick-fil-A. It was, it was okay. I, don't, I think I, I hyped it up a little too much for myself. I think if I try it again, I'm going to try the Cherry Berry Lemonade with tea in it. And maybe that will help balance it out. I just grabbed the cherry berry lemonade, but they also have like cherry berry lemonade with with a tea, unsweetened or sweetened, which I think will help a little bit. It was okay though, it wasn't bad, but I was expecting a lot more. So I think I need to balance it out with like some tea in there, kind of like an Arnold Palmer. Cherry drink? I don't know. Whenever, whenever I go to Tokyo Wako, which is like Benny, uh, which is like a Benny Hanas, I my, he, they make me a killer, killer uh, Shirley Temple. But I think my favorite cherry drink is Cherry Dr Pepper. Cherry Dr. Pepper's Elite. I mean, I've tried like Cherry Sprite. It's almost similar, right? But I think it's different when it comes to Shirley Temples because I think you use like a couple different ingredients in that compared to just like Cherry Flavor Sprite. We talked about it many times already, Mike. That other cheer, 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 uh, cheer soda that tastes like cherry as well is really, really good too. All right, guys, here we go. Mike Piazza. Baby. We got George Springer.
Ooh. We have something nice right here. Tatis. And very nice. Out of 10. Jeremy Benya. Houston. Chad Lee. Very nice, Chad. Pretty solid case so far. And a Livian Sosa refractor. Or so, uh, Soto, sorry. Refractor. Very nice right there. That's another one there for the Angels. Nice, nice, nice. Mark McGuire. Nice, Matsutaka Yoshida. And there's a refractor of Matt Walner. Phenoms for the Minnesota Twins going to Kev. We got a Von Grissom. What's going on? Rep 80, why are the benches clearing? Here we go, guys. Vladimir Guerrero. Alright, we might have something here. I don't know. Nice, Michael Harris. Gamers. Matt Chapman. Logan O'Hoppy. Last box of the break here, guys. Reese Hoskins. And nice, Mookie Betts. Illuminators. Or Intimidators, sorry. Dodgers. Going to Chad.
All right, guys. Well, there you go. Getting a lot of the same old, same old guys, but um, we did get a nice auto and a couple of nice low numbered. Oh, well, at least that low number parallel, two out of ten. So I'm just thieving up those rookies. Sleeve though cars, guys, as you can see. And here you go, here, guys. Quick little recap. So we got a Phenoms there, Carlos Rodon, Intimidators, Mookie, Walner, Soto. Out of ten, Jeremy Pena, um, Eloy, uh, DL Hall, and out of ten, Mike, or out of one hundred, Mike Trout autograph. So there you go, guys. Thank you guys so much. Again, uh, this is the only case we actually had. So, uh, like I said, thank you. And uh, like I said, if you guys want to do any more breaks, guys, there's stuff we can do, including Immaculate and uh, Football Mixer, guys. Thank you.